In his time, in his era, nobody could tame him. If you will open your mouth to echo your mouth today, whatever has undo you, God shall remove them from your life. Yeah. When the Philistines oppressed Israel for 40 years, how many years? 40 years of oppression. Say 40 years of oppression. How many years of oppression? Your case shall not be like that. I demand a louder amen. Every oppression in your life shall vanish today. Every attack in your life shall vanish today. Every handwriting on the wall in your life shall vanish today. Every sickness in your life shall vanish today. Every worst pain, ear pain, head pain shall vanish today. If you are here, when you remember yesterday, you remember when you come to the church, you testify. But today, it is a different scenario. You hardly testify. When you remember how long you've been in such captivity, if you open your mouth and echo over, the power of God shall bring you out. Locker! Is the word? Locker. Samson, when he was given that to God told him his mission. You shall be a Nazareth. You are dedicated unto me. Don't take strong drink. Your hair must not be shaved. You are well, only dedicated unto me. It was done. Samson grew up to become a dedicated believer. A devoted follower of Jehovah. One day, Samson fell in love with a woman that was called Delilah. What is her name? I did not hear you. Yeah. Help me tell somebody beware of Delilah. Yeah. He did not hear you telling where. Yeah. She did not hear you tell her where. Yeah. Beware of who? Yeah. Delilah. They are there among the boys. They are there among the girls. Who had Delilah's destiny destroyers? Visual killers. Miracle attackers. If there be anyone that has been stationed to hijack your miracle, if there be anyone that has been stationed to destroy your future, the fire of God shall consume that person. How many of you believe you have a future? How many of you believe you have a future? How many of you believe you have a glorious destiny? Come on, tell somebody, I have a future. Tell another person, I have a glorious destiny. No Delilah, no Delilah, can I judge my destiny? No Delilah, can destroy my glorious destiny? Everybody look at me. There are Delilahs that they come sexually. There are the lilas that may come in terms of money, money, money aspect. There are the lilas that may come in terms of spiritual powers. The man was in US. Was he where? Did the lilas at home? We've been able to, we tried to seduce this man. We couldn't. We tried all means to make sure we are jacking and bringing into our fold. We tried all to know our faith. Those who have been trying to capture you, to uncuff you, to hijack you, to remote you, to, to destroy you, and destroy your glory, it shall not work. It shall not work. It shall not work. This man was in U.S. living in Athens. In the night, they call upon his name, James, 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 come back. And he woke up one morning and told these people, I'm going to Nigeria. For what? I'm, I'm going. Don't disturb. I'm going. They are calling him. Calling him. No, sir. Those who are calling you to destroy you. Come on, shout the blood of Jesus. Look at somebody stay close to you. Tell him, brother, it's not possible. They can't hijack you. You are in the safe hands. Your life is secure. 
in the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on, shout out! Yeah. Then the man came to Nigeria. As soon as he stretched, stepped airport, he became mad. He was not mad in US, but as soon as he arrived in Nigeria, madness came upon him. Who is he that says, and it comes to pass? When the Lord has not approved it, did God approve that your sickness? I demand a response. Did God approve it? No. That trouble every day in your life has relegated you so low. Did God approve it? No. Therefore, as we echo in that today, whatever has been planted in you that did not have its origin and backing from God shall be exposed, shall be destroyed, 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 shall be destroyed. God bless you. You know the carry sickness. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. The man became mad. Listen, child of God. Sousy fell in love with a woman called Delilah. Because they looked for all opportunity to counter something, they couldn't. Listen to me. As in course of our blessing God, some of you came from Ika, Agbo, Yoruba, Ibo, Sabini, and so on. You came from different places. Listen to me. Those who spread their net, I want you to fall inside. They will open their two eyes. You may see a fall inside the net. The lion of the tribe of Judah shall appear for your sake. And he shall tear the net. 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 from you today because anything in you that will not keep going to God must fly out when the bigger power come lesser power will bow are you hearing me today your joy is about to come back your liberty is about to come back your testimony is about to come back your promotion is about to come back your miracle is about to come back your glory is about to come back your blessing is about to come back it is your portion it is your portion it's your portion. It's your portion. It's your portion. It's your portion. Someone shout yes. Yeah. Now listen. Listen to me. 
Samson one day, Delilah, look at her. The loss of the Philistine came to Delilah. We were told the man that destroyed our people is here. We were told the man that refused to be dead. That man that dead man could not turn is here. You see, when God does something in your life, those that were born the same age with you, you will gap them. You will overtake them. When you are at, at the front, they are at your back. The man went the front and the man went the back. Those, the man at the front, if you want to talk to the man at the back, I will do. He will turn back. No, sir. He will always turn back. But the man at the back, knowing fully where he's at the back, can he turn back? He's always looking at the front. Oh, God, wait for me. Oh, God, wait for me. It is your turn. Look down. It's not what? It's not what? If a man for seven times, first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, six times, seven times, what happened? God will leave him there. God will leave him there. What happened? He will rise again. How many of you want to rise again in your life? You want to rise again in your destiny? That they will see you and say, What a wonderful boy! What a wonderful man! What a wonderful woman! What a wonderful girl! When they see you, they praise your father. When they see you, they praise your mother. You shall be sorry in your life. You shall be sorry in your life. In the name of Jesus! Samson was knocked down. But before, listen to me, before he was knocked down, the lad I met him and said, Oh boy, I love you now. Honey. I mean, show up. Anna. You know when a woman touch you like this, especially if you be her husband, call and run through the body. Boys and girls, close your ears. And one day, Oni, can you tell me where your strength lies? Or oh, you want to know where my strength lies? It's okay. Go and look for wit. Use it to tie my body. Seven new wit. You to tie my body. Then I that power that is inside me shall go out. The woman felt happy. She was so happy. Use that seven wit to tie the man. After tie him, <laughs> place his head on her lap and pet him, gave him wine to drink. The first time he abandoned the Lord of God, you must not drink wine. He drank. He ate. The wages of sin is what? The gift of God is what? Listen, when somebody is living in sin, he's subject to satanic bullets. The devil will oppress him. Do you know what? The Bible says, through righteousness thou shalt be established. Because righteousness is not a nation, but sin is what? A reproach. If you live in sin, you are an ego. And what? They call you sister P, sister good, this, sister this. You are not sister, you are crazy. Because there is a way that sin right unto a man. The end thereof is dead. And what? Destruction. He lie down on her lap. And the woman back up. Something your enemies are run. Something woke up and said, Where are they? Oh, that they hired. When they heard the voice of this notorious and terrible servant of God, a captain in the Lord's army, they were left with no option than to run. Listen to me. That thing can happen also. When devils see you, it will tremble. When you live a righteous life and when they see you, they will bow. Let me share this with you. I, I, I choose to stop so far, but I feel I should share this with you. A young girl came to me. From a place, he saw God. You were preaching television as you were about praying. I fell inside my room. Please, can I come to you? I want to see you. I said, I told her, No, I would rather refer you to my pastors. Go and meet any of them. So, God, I beg you, please. I have jammed power that is bigger than my own. I want to see you face to face. When she came, 18 years 